Hi there, friend. This is Lee Posky. You know, there's a lot of confusion out there in the religious world about free grace and God's judgment. And so I'm going to bring truth to you that should clarify this matter for anyone who's confused about it. The reason for the problem and confusion is, is because there, there are two religious camps out there that favor one perspective to the exclusion of the other. And that should not be, because they're both wrong. The fire and brimstone camp, they won't preach free grace. And the free grace camp, they won't preach fire and brimstone. So ask yourself this, does God's word teach both throughout scripture? Yes, it does. That settles the matter. We see the fear of the Lord being taught in both the Old and New Testaments. Proverbs 9.10, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. 2 Corinthians 5.11 Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Yeah, people go to hell for unbelief, but they are punished for their sins. Unsaved people's sins are not forgiven. Do you recall what Jesus said in John 8.24? I said therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins, for if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Now the fact is, you and I in our natural state only deserve to be thrown into hell. That's what we deserve. And that's the initial motivation to call upon the name of the Lord for salvation. Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. So why in the world would any preacher omit the vital truth about fearing the Lord and his wrath that abides on lost people? I'll tell you why they don't talk about it. It's because he's more concerned about making followers of himself than he is preaching the full counsel of God. He worries about man's opinion in what he preaches. What did Paul say in Galatians 1.10? For, excuse me, for do I now persuade men or God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Now that settles that. All right. Now let's look at the preachers who preach judgment all the time and don't preach free grace. How many times have you heard an excellent sermon that doesn't skimp on God's judgment, and then the guy gives some unbiblical invitation to another gospel? They, they say you have to repent of your sins to be saved or give your life to Christ or something like that. That guy is no better than the first guy we talked about because that guy, he gives an, an ineffective remedy to satisfy God's wrath when he should be telling them, Yes, you're not only on your way to hell, but you deserve to go there, just like I do in my unsafe state. But how you respond to that fearful condition is to call upon the name of the Lord, believing on the Son of God to save you. You don't become justified before God by bringing unclean works of a sinner to God to be justified. You simply believe with the faith of Christ, and God clothes you with his righteousness. It's very simple. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. So, whenever you encounter some preacher who won't preach fire and brimstone, or he won't preach free grace, even though they may have some really good content in their messages, they're not teaching the full truth of God's message to humanity. They're skewing the message to fit their agenda. And that means you're dealing with someone who's teaching another gospel. All right. Well, I thank you for sharing some of your valuable time with me. And all glory to the risen Lord Jesus Christ and no glory to us whatsoever. Bye-bye.